Perish Harami Cross. Now this is also an important pattern. It looks something like this. I will even show you in chart so that you can understand how to pick it up. Now a bearish harami cross consists of a large green body followed by a doji. This pattern is a reversal pattern when it is made at the top. At the top it means a like death warrant of the trend. The first green body candle is a large 1% plus gain candle followed by a doji candle. Now once you see that, that is not a good site to be like in. Why? Because in the green candle everyone is bullish. They are buying, buying, buying. On that day, if you are looking at the live feed of the stock or forex, you will see more and more buy orders coming in. Brilliant. But the next day it opens lower and closes on the open. That's where the problem starts. Because if everyone is bullish, then it should not be opening lower. And in an uptrend, it never opens lower. It is usually high, high, high. And even if it, let's say, opens lower by a few cents or something, then even it closes higher than the previous close, making it a green candle. So it's a bullish trend. But if it does this and it is within the body of the green candle, then there is something definitely wrong. And it means change in the trend. And that change in trend, if you don't pick it, will cost you huge sums of money on the fall. That's why I will show you this bearish Harami cross on chart so that you can understand how to pick it and you can see what happens once it is made. Bearish Harami Cross. Now this is a really important pattern because this pattern also means a change in trend. Now just look at it. This is a white body, a green body and the next day it opens lower and makes a doji candle. That is, its open close are exceptionally nearer. If you look at it, uh, this is open high low close. So if I put my mouse here, it's 6035 is open and 6038 is the close. So it's a perfect doji. Three cent difference is not even a difference. And previous day, it was a bullish channel. At the last closing here, it was 5983 and the next day it opened at 6016 and rose up to 6050. And then it opened lower at 6035 and closed at 6038, which was a doji. So whenever this happened, it meant a stoppage of trend. And that's exactly what happened. Next day it opened lower at 59.70, made a low at 59.40. Then it tried to rally up but stopped at the same high and fell off again, making an exceptionally lower low, 59.11. So if you look at it from this pattern, you knew that there was like a stoppage of trend and previously it was in an uptrend, then it stopped due to this pattern. So this pattern is equally important, a complex pattern. Thank you.